hello lovely people welcome back to my channel how are you all doing i believe you are doing great by the grace of god today guys we are making a very short video and a very short recipe we are making evaporated milk and it's so quick it's so easy so relax as i take you through these simple steps to achieve a very creamier and rich evaporated milk at home without further ado let's get to the kitchen and make a very rich and creamier evaporated milk all right let's get started so all you need is full fat milk or whole milk because this will make the end result rich and creamier in this video i'm using only four cups of the whole milk so you can use more or less depending on how much you want to make i'm also using a non-stick saucepan so that it will be easy for me to clean up whenever i finish making the milk i'm pouring the milk in the saucepan as you all can see and now the heat is also on and it's around medium temperature i'm going to leave it for it to simmer for about 30 minutes or more and periodically, I'll use my spatula to stir, like I'm doing. So family, all we need for making evaporated milk is whole milk or full fat milk. Because that will make the end result so rich and creamier. So the difference between evaporated milk and condensed milk is that condensed milk is a simmer down milk, which has sugar in it and then the end result becomes so rich so sweet and so thick so syrupy as well but with the evaporated milk all you need is the milk a simmer down milk all by itself with no other sugar but yet the end result becomes sweet it becomes sweet because the milk already contains sugar okay so this is the main difference between evaporated milk and condensed milk. So after about 30 minutes, here we are with our milk so thick and so creamy. It's time for us to strain the film that formed on the top of the milk while it was simmering away for us to get the pure milk. Oh my goodness, this tastes just like the store-bought milk if not better so guys if you're enjoying this video so far give your girl a big thumbs up don't forget to share comment and recommend this channel to friends and families who may be interested in my recipes and if today's your first time hey you are warmly welcome please join us by clicking on the red subscribe button click on the bell button to get more updates from us you see, this milk is so quick and easy to make from scratch and the comfort of your own home with no stress. Just use whole fat milk and you are good to go. Look at that. It's so rich. It's so creamy. All you need is a whole milk or full fat milk and you are good to go. You give yourself 30 minutes slowly and surely your evaporated milk ta -da, is done just like that you get your evaporated milk ready to be used guys i'm so impressed and i'm so sure that you are also inspired to try this recipe right away it's just one ingredient just go to the store get yourself a whole milk or full fat milk and make some at home it's so quick, it's so easy, and it's so fun to make this. With this baking, it's going to be so easy to make in my home because I love to always add evaporated milk when making my pastries. Okay, so right now guys, let's check the thickness of this milk and see if it's watery or liquidy or it's like the store-bought milk. Look at that. I love the consistency. It's so thick like the store-bought. If not better, I love the color. It's so rich. It's so creamy. It tastes so good, guys. I love the, the smell. I love the taste. It's so, so, so sweet. Even though I didn't add any sugar, I love the taste of it. I'm so blown away. 
So now we're going to compare the homemade evaporated milk and the store-bought evaporated milk. Look at that. Mm -hmm. The thickness is like the homemade one, guys. If I'm being honest here, or oh, what do you see? Just let me know in the comment section below, okay? Because we are all learning here, all right? I'm so impressed and I'm so loving this. Now let's use the spoon to check the thickness of both milk. The first one was the store-bought one and now this is the homemade milk. Mmm, wow. Not bad. It's time to pour the homemade milk in a jar to be kept in the fridge. I love the taste, guys. I love it. It's so sweet. I love the taste. There's no sugar, but it's so sweet. Look at that, guys. So my breakfast is ready. And what better to use than your own homemade evaporated milk? Oh, yum. This is so tasty, guys. I'm really impressed. And I'm sure you are inspired to give this a try and bring me the feedback. Thank you all for watching. And see you all again in my next video. Until then, stay blessed and keep safe. If you are new, subscribe and join this family. You will never ever regret it. Thanks for sharing. Thanks for commenting. Thanks for liking. I love you all. Bye-bye. Stay blessed. Enjoy. Mwah.